Scott Tales. Oh. <laughs> Hi, everybody, and welcome to another edition of Scott Tales. You know, this cop saw a pickup truck full of penguins, and he stops the guy, and he says, what's with all the penguins? The guy says, well, they're my penguins. The cop says, these are wild animals. You take them to the zoo. Well, the very next day, he sees the same pickup truck driving with a truckload of penguins. So he stops it and says to the guy, I thought I told you to take those penguins to the zoo. The guy says, I did. We had such a good time that today we're going to the beach. <laughs> and maybe while he's at the beach, he will treat those penguins to today's drink, which is the sea breeze. Now, the sea breeze is a great little uh, vodka grapefruit juice, cranberry juice cocktail drink that you're really going to love. It is a summer spectacular drink. Probably born in uh, Harry Craddock's 1930 book, The Savoy Cocktail Book. But the recipe in that book was for a sea breeze cooler, which was equal parts gin, apricot brandy, and half a lemon. Much different than the reimagined 1980s version, and that may be due to some clever marketing by the Cranberry Consortium. Scientists discovered traces of a carcinogen in a batch of cranberries just ahead of Thanksgiving in 1959, and the government issued a food warning. Well, the contamination was limited, but panic ensued, and in 1960, Ocean Spray started publishing pamphlets with recipes and, of course, cocktails that you can use cranberries in. And that's where we got our current version of the Sea Breeze. Let's try it out. You have your a tall glass, get a tall glass, then you're gonna put in one and a half ounces of vodka. We are using the Spotted Bear Vodka from Montana. It's 80 proof, very nice mixing vodka. I know you'll like it. Then one and a half ounces of fresh squeezed and strained grapefruit juice. So we put that right in the mix. Then we go with about three ounces of cranberry juice cocktail. Now, normally we like fresh juices in our cocktails, but this bottled version is uh, acceptable because the regular cranberry juice is way too tart. So we go about three ounces of that right in there. We give it a little stir, little gentle stirry poo. Then we're going to add our ice in our freshly washed hands. And then we're going to garnish with a lime wedge. I'm ready to taste it. <laughs> Cheers. Yes! Oh, as cool as a sea breeze. It's refreshing. It's thirst quenching. Uh, tasty easy to make. It's going to be a favorite for your summer. Make sure you get um, the ingredients and make this. So this man is shipwrecked and he washes ashore on an Australian beach unconscious. He wakes up and he looks at the deplorable conditions of this hospital. It's filthy. The nurse walks in and he says, what's going on? This hospital's disgusting. Did they bring me here to die? She says, oh no sir. They brought you here yesterday. <laughs> Drink up, everybody, because it's almost closing time somewhere. Ah!